Okay, um, this is going to be a real quick video. Um, as we look at how to format our paperback books um, from a Microsoft Word document, uh, if you just started writing in Word whenever you started writing your book and you didn't change any settings, uh, you are probably stuck in letter size. Um, so you can look real quick up at here, your layout, that's letter. So the first thing we want to do is go down here to paper sizes, and we're going to choose 6 by 9, which is a very standard trim size. But one important thing we want to do right here, make sure this says whole document. If you just if you don't change that, it'll change a, only a section of your book. Um, and that is a very common error that I have seen uh, when I'm taking on freelance jobs is people say, my document won't, Amazon keeps rejecting it, I don't know why. And it's because one section of their book is six by nine and one section is letter or five by eight or something else. So we want the whole document to be six by nine. We'll go into margins in a little bit, but for a six by nine book, these are pretty good. Um, 0.875 on the inside and 0.75 on the outside. And again, mirror margins here, which gives us facing pages and apply to whole document. Um, and we can just do that. And we already have a much nicer looking book. Uh, but the next thing we wanted to look at is our font choice. Microsoft defaults to Calibri. Uh, which is not something you want to publish a book in. Most books are going to be in a serif font. So we can go to home here, put our cursor somewhere in one of our paragraphs, and you should have done this formatting uh, if you followed the instructions to publish on Kindle, so that that's a heading, uh, that's a subheading. If you don't see this styles box, you can just hit this little arrow here and it'll pop it out. Uh, so if we put our cursor into one of our paragraphs, it should be default to normal if you've just been writing in Word. And we can right click here and click modify. And what do we want to do? I like Borgia Pro is a font that I like. And we see it's set to 12. You can also do 11 and a half. You can go down to 11 if your book is pretty long. Um, and then we want to go to paragraph here. And right now we have before zero and after 10. You'll notice that right now that makes uh, spaces in between the paragraphs. So if we set this to zero, um, then we'll have no spacing there and we can add an indent. So we'll leave this at 10 point for now. Um, and our line spacing is at multiple and 1.15 or 115%. A lot of people do 120%. Uh, you can do either. Just make sure it's not single space. Single space is, is way too small and double space is way too big. So it's about how it feels to your eyeballs. Um, we're going to start there and we'll say okay and now we have this nice serif font um, that looks much better and then what we want to do is this book because it is a very a self-help book and there's lots of sort of little uh, snippets bits and pieces we've set the paragraph to have spacing between each paragraph that is not traditional for a novel uh, if, if you want to do it for a novel, you need to do it this way, format paragraph, paragraph, first line by 0.25, and we're going to say zero. So this is more how, as you can see, how a typical novel is, um, is done in terms of indentation. You can do it a little bigger than that as well. But I'm not doing that for this book because I don't think it fits as well when it's so full of bullet points and everything else. Uh, but yeah, that's the basics. Uh, as long as you have that ready, you're, you can upload your book to Amazon uh, after you sub, uh, convert it to PDF. But we are going to go into some more complicated stuff like adding these running headers um, a little further down in this blog post or in another YouTube video if you're seeing this on YouTube. Okay, bye.